Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel and today it's going to be a bit different. Today it's going to be like I'm going to compare a £7 mouse to a £70 mouse. So here's the £7 mouse as you can tell and here is the £70 mouse. So let's get started with the 7. So I've already had a look inside so I haven't took nothing out or anything. Just had a look and this is the first one. Of course RGB. Have to have RGB. So undo the cable, quickly plug it in, and see how that goes. So here we have the seven pound mouse. That's what it looks like from the bottom. It does look all right, I guess. Looks good. You got the nice, the nice RGB that you have to have. Pretty sure there's an RGB ch changer, but I don't know if you can hear the clicks. So I'll just put it next to the mic. Okay, so I've had to record this after because the mic didn't actually pick up the click. So this time it should. So this is the left click. This is the right click. This is a scroll wheel. So when you push it in. This is the DPI button. And then, yep, that's that mouse. Whoa, the mouse feels... Whoa, this is actually alright. So... Wait... This feels, this feels really weird but I'm gonna quickly load up Fortnite and see how this goes in an actual game I'm hoping that it does well but I'm hoping it doesn't do too well if you know what I mean so let's just see how this goes so we're now in Fortnite as you can see so I'm hoping that this does look alright so let's put the webcam up right now so there you go it's working everything's working you can see the screen works it's an alright, feels alright. So what's it, when you tap the DPI, does any color change? I don't think there's any software, so I'm not too sure what the DPI would be. But that feels quite fast. Let's read the box. So on the box right now, that's nah. It's a it's a Shipadoo. That's the brand, okay. But I don't think it says anything about the DPIs, so. Let's jump into a bit of creative. Also, just a quick warning. I've been on a um, controller for the past month. So this might not be good. But it's got a nice smooth texture. And it's a bit... I don't know what you'd say on the side. But yeah. It feels nice to hold. We're now in creative, as you can see. It, it, feels, it feels actually good. I was feeling it a bit. It feels nice. So I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping the quality of the camera is good as well. This is my first time ever actually trying a camera like this. If you want to see more in the future, just let me know in the comments. So I'm, just, I'm sorry if it does shake a bit, but yeah. Okay. So apparently it's my keyboard that doesn't want to jump. Because I pressed dump, jump and it doesn't really want to jump. But I'm sort of lagging, but... Should we tap the DPI button? It feels... It doesn't feel too bad. Scroll wheel reset. Oh, this actually feels good. So, I guess... Cheap mouses aren't bad mouses. I was expecting the sensor to be bad, so let's see what happens if it's spinning really fast. What? Well, I pick it up and the sensor still goes. I'll even show you the camera. That's a bit weird, but trying the DPI changing again. Oh, that's slow. Okay. It's got a bit of like, what would you call it? Because I move it and it carries on a bit after. And I'm lagging a bit, so that, that might be a bit of an issue. But that's a bit of Fortnite. I'm pretty sure on each one I'm gonna go into like a click test, click test. But I'm not really that fast at clicking, so yeah. And then I might go on like a bit of a Kovacs testing course. So let's jump in to our first test. So here we are now on the click tester. I'll do five seconds, and I can you know, like. It's, it's alright, but... Eight. Eight CPS, that's alright. I'm not really that fast, like I've already said. Let's try one clip. 
10. Okay. 9. 8. I want to try that butterfly click. I've, I've actually never tried to butterfly. Isn't it like that? I'm not too... 9, but... There we go. <laughs> 9. Let's just say 10 was our best. So, that's that for the clicking test of this mouse. And also, as you can see, I hope you can see that there's a little logo there. Let me just have a look if you can see. Yeah, so there's like a little logo there. Which is quite cool. And it's a nice design of it. So now, let's jump on to Kovacs. So Kovacs is actually loaded now, but just before we go into Kovacs, on the back of the box, I didn't actually see this, but I don't know if you will be able to see. Oh, the light, okay. But anyway, it says that you can change the DPI from 800, 1200, 1600, 2400, 3200, and 4800. So there's quite a lot of different ranges that you can choose. And also, I'm pretty sure that this, oh, mine's upside down, don't know why I've done that. But I'm pretty sure that this mouse weighed 100 grams, I think it said on the site. But now, as you can see, we're in Fortnite. Now we're in Kovacs. But I'm pretty sure... A good test would be smoothness tracker, why not? So. Just gotta get used to it, to be honest. I've also got new sense on Kovax because I've changed my sense on Fortnite again. I don't know why I keep doing this, but I keep doing it. I'm not too sure what DPI this is on either because I'm not I'm not too sure you can actually check. I don't think there's a software. Well, there probably isn't a software for it. So there's that one. What was our score? What was our score? Let me quickly copy that. Just so I know. Yep, yep. And tile frenzy. We'll do a quick tile frenzy. I like tile frenzies. But I ain't that good at them, but I like them. I'm actually alright, I guess. I think my highest was 100 and something. That was ages ago, though. And also, because I've been on control, I haven't actually been able to practice my aim or callbacks or nothing. So, I should have actually played a bit. Actually, I know, because... I wouldn't have been able to do this video, would I? But, there we have it. So, we hit 96. I'm not bothered about the score, to be honest. Yeah, high score is 100.1. That's alright. So we got 96 as well. And yeah. Well, that's that's the £7 mouse. Or 6 99 actually. I got it off Amazon. I'll leave both the links in the description for these two mice. If you do want to go and check them out. So now, let's jump into the £70 mouse. So now... We can actually open this. Actually, I've been excited to use this mouse because, I don't know, it's going to be my main mouse from now on. So, just ignore that little rip, but let's have a look. So, that's the box empty. I think this has got a lot of deeper. I think it was 16,000, but it is a Def Adder V2, as you can see right there. So, let's get that out of the way. And, yeah. I don't know what all this would be, but... Yeah, okay, just that's information. Don't really need that, to be honest. I'll probably read that off camera. So here we've got the cable. That's uh, pretty important, of course. But, okay, this is... um going to struggle anyway. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. I mean, not no, we go. But a bit lag. Wait for the lag. There we have the mouse. Was it a hyperspeed cable? Or was that something else? It might have been something else. It's a bit laggy. I don't know why, but... There's a cable. Quite nice. And there is the bottom. You probably can't really see it, but yeah. There's the top. RGB, of course. And some nice sides. Pretty sure it's rubber pieces on the side. I've, I've kind of forgot. But I like the cable tie thing, these little plastic things. And I don't know why it's lagging, the camera. But there we go. So I'm going to quickly plug it in. And then, show you the RGB, of course. And there you have it. <laughs> RGB. Oh, wait. Synapse have came up. Oh, I was trying to move it, but this is on the bottom. Do a nice peel. You won't be able to hear it. Let's put it next to the mic. So, 
it's nice. It looks quite nice. So there we have that. Why is my stop working already? Well, for some reason, it doesn't really want to work with Synapse. Pretty sure there's an update, but I'll install the update, and after that's done, I'll hop into a Fortnite game. So I'll see you then. So this is a click test for this mouse. So here's the left button. Here's the right button. Here's the scroll wheel. Here's the in. Here's the two buttons on the top. And here's the two side buttons. So we are now in creative, as you can see, got a red X for some reason, but it feels so just smooth. I can just do that. It feels, it feels really good already. The clicks feel nice and it feels nice to touch, but I'm not really used to mouses like this. So I've just got to get used to it. It does feel quite, quite nice actually. Also, I am a bit laggy, as you can see, I get a yellow X and then a red X and all that. So, I'm just hoping that goes down and then I can actually do a proper test, but it probably won't. Right, let's quickly just try this. Okay. On well, the scroll wheel, it feels, it feels nice, that does. And it feels easy to scroll as well, which is quite nice. So after this, we're going to do a Kovacs test, or we're going to do a click test, which probably won't go that well, and a Kovacs test. So let's just jump into the click test. Here we have the click test. So let's start with five seconds like we did last time and go down to one. So I forgot how much one, the five second one was last time, but that's 8.2. That's, that's nice. Eight. It feels really... I just have to tap it a bit and you just move. Like I am touching it that hard. So that, that's quite nice, but nine eight. Let's try that butterfly clicking again. Okay, nine, but I'm not too sure how to butterfly click click, so there we go. Eight. So let's just say eight was our best. But well nine nine was our best. Ten was the other one. Actually let's try and get ten. Yeah, 10. 10, like I said, it I just said 10, and I got it. And also, there was a little program button there, which changes the pro, profile button, not program but button, which is quite cool. And I don't know why, but you can't actually see the red light. That's, uh, I don't know. I've never actually noticed that on a mice before. So, let's jump into our Kovacs test. So, we're now in Kovacs, as you can see. So, where's our Fortnite warm-up thing? We're going to do a smoothness test. Yes, smoothness test. Yep, that's a smoothness. So we're going to do a smoothness test real quick. Already feels quite better. Pull through that bit. Well, <laughs> well, I'd I'd say a little a little bit improvement. Now that was actually quite a lot of an improvement, as you can see right there, 8.3k to 5.8k. So I guess it's smoother. But let's have a look at the tile frenzy. Whoa, this feels so slow compared to the other mouse. I might have had the other mouse on the wrong DPI to be honest, because I played 800 and it did feel quite different. But I don't know. So, if, if I could actually have a look at what DPI on, I was on, then I would actually be able to tell you. But I actually don't think there is a way. Pretty sure I had like 90 last time, so higher than 90. 85. Does it say our last score? Is there any... No. Can I get rid of friends? There we go. So here's the seven pound mouse, as you can see. And here is the 70 pound mouse. 
put them next to each other. It's not really, not really too much. But anyway, that will wrap up the end of the video here. A little bit of a comparison. So I'll leave the links in the description. And also, to be honest, comparing them, I mean, it just it just does depend on what you need it for and what your budget is. So if you've got a low end budget, something like one of these, is, they're actually they're actually all right. And if you haven't really got, well, if you've got a high budget, I guess, or something around there, like this is a good mouse as well. So it really does depend what you need it for. So if you're just working, it doesn't really matter, does it, to, to be honest, I don't know. But anyway, it is your choice, and I will see you guys in future videos. Goodbye.